Attention! Attention! And now we welcome to the grand trivia stage our great leader, our grand aquarium emperor the trivia master of this age the past age the upcoming age and ages unknown please welcome grand trivia master Oh, that was a bad noise. Sorry, Master. Let's try again. Oh, that's not so. Uh, we must find the noise to pay tribute to all five dimensions you hold in your control. The fake trumpet for Fluval. Hello and welcome to Grand Trivia, the only show in any dimension where points do matter and losing will cost you everything. I'm Fluval, Grand Trivia Master of the Grand Aquarium Empire, and with me, as always, for this ghost and haunted house trivia themed episode is none other than Intern Creepy. Hello, everyone. I'm Intern Christy, and welcome to Grand Trivia. Welcome, everyone. Welcome, Lena and Blogtovan and Fula Loof and the Argyle. And, ooh, do we have a birthday yes. in the room? Happy birthday to Ace and Deuce. Happy birthday to you. I'm so excited to extract... So much so suffering much on suffering. your birthday. Because, of course, this is Grand Trivia, hosted by Grand Trivia Master of the Grand Aquarium Empire, Fluval. Me. In which we extract your suffering through trivia. And it is delicious to us. And we we do we do prefer that that mortals, mm, that they're dimensional beings, mm, stop existing. Well, yeah. But you can exist as long as you're suffering. Mm, it's feeding us. Yes. And we love this. It's feeding us. It's feeding us. Happy birthday. A t-shirt looks like one of the best ever. It is Let's indeed. sacrifice Toby. Yes, this is from a page in the intern orientation guide. Uh... You laughed, but that's also just accurate. It's accurate. Yeah. It's entirely accurate. Very. It tracks. It tracks. It tracks. But yeah. Fubal, what? do you want to talk to us about the trivia we're yes, going so to experience it's tonight? October in your lowly dimension, it which is, be. of course, the same time as Halloween, since spooky season has officially begun. And so, to tie in with that, we have ten questions all about ghosts and haunted houses. Haunted houses. Houses. Just like what you have just entered. Yes. Amber Serranos. I like that because it makes me think of dinosaurs. And dinosaurs are on the scale of third dimensional beings better than humans. And thank you for that royal boo, a 1B BBR. It's the teeth. And if you go, Here, oh, spooky and special. Thank kind you of for giving out five community subs, a whom named Maddie. That means we hit our goal of 20 oh. subs. So what do we thank do you for our goal. In what way do we extract their suffering, Fluval? I mean, mo the goal? money's leaving their wallet. They usually oh. suffer when that happens. Well, perfect. <laughs> perfect. Yay, Maddie! Thank you, Yay. Maddie. Yay. How rude of Halloween to be so on Tuesday rude. instead of Wednesday. Extremely rude. Yeah. We talked to the network executives about that one, and they're like, well, though we'd have to retcon like this whole calendar thing, and it would just be a whole deal. So we're like, fine. Fine. 
But speaking of Tuesdays, be sure to join the Flim Flam foursome of Con Artist Journey to Baldur's Gate every Tuesday on this channel, which is twitch.tv slash Radio Free Multiverse. And his scene here is B.W. Sizzlethorpe getting his brain picked out with an ice pick. Fluval, is your mouth a little sticky today? Yeah. Have you been have you been chewing interdimensional suffering? We turn it, we do a process where we Yeah, we turn the suffering Boo. into a kind of a gum, right? Have you been have you been chewing too much of it? I sure seems like it. Sure seems like it. <laughs> Fish gods. Yes, to your fish lowly third-dimensional eyes. Yeah, they were fish gods last time. Yes. And yeah, that may give you something to look forward to for next year. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. I'm also ready for trivia, so everyone should go to crowd.live yes. and enter our trivia game by entering code <laughs> EI56M. And they can join like Egg X Bake, Boo Tatoes, A Haunted House MD, and Spooky Walk Run. <laughs> Potatoes. Boil them. Mash them. Stick them in a stew. Yes. Double, double. Toil and trouble. Fire burning cauldron bubble. Fillet of a fenny snake in the cauldron boil and bake. I have newton, toe of frog, wing of bat, and tongue of dog. Yeah, that whole thing Light memorized, frog. huh? Uh, Alder's fork and blind worms sting. Lizard's Hello. leg and howlets Hello, wing. Hello, ghoul aloof entering our game of trivia as well. Ghoul aloof. Did you make it N? What is the name? Uh, what that name you are you using? Stick them in the a people boo! in our game are Egg X Bake, Boo Tatoes, A Haunted House MD, Spooky Walk Run. No, it looks like you may have misentered one of the letters. Okay, but they're in, correct? No, 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 oh no, no, they're in someone I'm else's. They may not. They may, may have I misentered a letter. I don't see them in our. See. Oh no, I see you now. I see you now. But yes, speaking of prizes. Yeah, I think you're in. I think you're in. To fully lock in the suffering of the losers, we do send, that is correct, an incredible prize in the mail to you if we have your address. And in fact, everyone who has received mail from us recently should pull it out and keep it nearby for a segment coming later in the show. That's right. Many of you received mail, hopefully, recently, or it will come within the week. And if you want it, just send me your address. Hi, Lindsay. I have a gold envelope sitting here. I will keep it nearby. Ooh. I see Amber Saurus in our game of trivia as well. Amber Saurus! You may want to try rejoining Ace and Deuce. I see you in the that. list of participants, but I don't see you on the board. Gotta go check that. So yeah, you may want to try rejoining, and once you do, we'll get our game underway. Oh no, my mail's in another location! Oh. That you see, you gotta find your mail, friends. You gotta find that mail. You gotta Crowd get her. that mail so that you can be. Mm. Okay. I like the suffering this is causing. I see you though. on the board now, Ace and Deuce. So now you're good. Now you're in. Crowd Purr notably yes. has some bugs. You're in now. What scares an intern from what, Trillist Pug? What scares an intern? Being separated from Fluval, that not is quite frightening. fully giving my life to the glorious aims of the Grand Aquarium Empire Network. Um, <laughs> Being a lowly third dimensional being, which I unfortunately am. I mean, However, you're, you're I am cursed to be. Elevated due to my status as as an intern. Yeah. Fuck crowd purr. I love the suffering this gives you. I do too. I mean, you're really blog. incentivizing us to stick with it, blog. The intern handbook. You mean the intern orientation program? But the handbook version, you know, the like shorter. Exactly. You are a fourth dimensional being, yes. Exactly. You're moving through one it at one second one equals second. one second. Well, all of you might be. We're outside of time and space. Well, I, I think <laughs> I, not me. Yeah, I, but here in the station. I can move it in any way direction I want, like a fish through water. <laughs> yes. But why don't we get our game of trivia underway with our countdown? Here it goes, the famous crowd per countdown. The famous which, crowd per countdown. And the famous crowd per settings panel popping up before <laughs> it, too. 
Here we go. Which of these is not one of the ghosts from the original Pac-Man? Blinky, Clyde, Inky, or Sue? Just in time. Three of them are in the original Pac-Man. One of them is not. Oh, Ace and Deuce knows this one. Mm. Starting off strong. And Single Walk Run this. should know it. I love it when we lead them in with the false sense of like, oh, <laughs> wow, maybe I can win. Like, maybe. I really like it when we pull out that rug. Yeah. From under them, and they realize, wow, I do not know this piece of trivial knowledge. And I am their voice operator. Much like a ghost, we pull the rug out from under them, and they go, yes. boop, 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 as they fall. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. That's like 1B is right now. Yes, 1B is falling, much in the way of one Scoobert do. Yes. <laughs> uh, Ace and Deuce says, I won't know shit. I only know mythological ghost lore. You never CDC know. forgot not to answer. <laughs> Well, let's see what everyone picked. Almost all of you thought it was Sue, and it is Sue. The original, she debuted in Ms. Pac-Man. Oh, okay. The gang in the original game. Because I would have said it's, it's, yeah. I don't know what I would have said. The gang in the original game is Blinky, Inky, Pinky, and Clyde. Clyde. <laughs> so Sue just replaced Clyde, yeah. Now why don't we walk a walk a walk a walk a walk to the leaderboard where Ace and Deuce is in first place, a boo named Booty in second, Boo in third, Haunted House MD in fourth, Egg X Bake in fifth, <laughs> Boo Toven in sixth, Gooloof in seventh, Spooky Walk Run in eighth, Boo Tato is in ninth, CBC just feels like death in tenth, Ambersaurus in eleventh. And not late from the void. Not late from the void. Not late. How many questions are there, Fluval? Ten. Ten spooky questions. Yeah, there's ten que- oh, oh, excuse me. Does Fluval stay in the fifth dimension because he fears the suffering he creates? Oh, he finds the suffering he creates we're, delicious. We're cutting to Pug World now. Fear that, Pug. Fear or respect. Yeah. Pug's dead now. We Pug. destroyed their planet. I mean, assuming Pug Too was on... Too close to the... Turn. Assuming Pug was on right. Pug World, yes. That's true. Pug may be off If Pug world. was off planet, Pug is but still cursing the whole, cosmos. Their whole planet destroyed. Yeah, but you know, like with Krypton, uh, sometimes the there's... the series Ghosts? That could be fun. We don't know. We don't know oh. what people might pull. That's how That's the how Pug World dies. Not with a bang, but with a bork. A bork. Let's see if yes. it dies with Cannot question with number pause. two. A classic slumber party game is trying to summon which ghost by saying oh. their name while looking in the mirror. <laughs> I love that gift. Type in your answers now. <laughs> uh, and Trill, we know that Pug cannot cannot type with pause. So this is double suffering. We destroyed their planet and now they cannot type. So this is what happens if you insult Fluval. It's true. You should all know if you question his supremacy. Yeah, don't you dare look. I mean, you notice you don't see Stephen Premel around anymore. <laughs> and that's because he, hey, there are a few answers for this. At least two. There's at least two answers for we this. We don't know. Fluval likes being tricksy. I thought this was regional. Is it always the same name? I thought it was always the same name until this moment. I try this to summon Fluval every, every uh, morning. Keep trying. Keep trying. Keep trying. You never know. You never know. Okay. So let's see what you picked. Oh. Almost everyone picked variations of Bloody Mary. Okay. There was Bloody Mary, Bloody Mary, Bloody Mary, Bloody Mary, and okay. Bloody Mary or Candyman, because in the in the hit film series Candyman, oh. you do say his name multiple times. There are a few names. Other alternate names that are used sometimes include Hell Mary and Mary Worth. Oh. Okay. Historians debate worth. whether or not Bloody Mary is inspired by a real woman or huh. is there's also lots There's of other regional ones. Yeah, that was what I thought. Yeah, too, like the whom. comic. I thought of the comic strip Mary Worth. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but also I'd like to say, I'll give that one. So, oh, ah! uh, there was all this talk about what about the regional names? Mm. All of you except one person still said Bloody Mary in some permutation. Exactly. So it seems like Bloody Mary is the big one. It seems like there's one. 
Yeah. It seems like there's one in some places like to think they're cool. I think the others are in more of a Gallagher 2 situation. A Gallagher where, yeah, 2? Yeah, they're there, okay. but, you know, they're um, not the big deal. They didn't smash the watermelon first. But quickly, Fluval, there's something I know you'll want to address. Oh. Because they would, yeah. Oh. Uh, the Premel slander continues. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Lindsay! know what planet that was that was just to get it out of my system yeah the hopefully Lindsay was there but we don't who knows we yeah bloody mary's correct so why don't we fly Not to our leaderboard part. where egg x bake has Man. taken first place boo in second ace and deuce in third haunted house md in fourth <laughs> and a boo named booty in fifth place that was a good joke pug about having less than 50 percent of their Ooh. health so that makes them bloody mary egg uh, x bake still here Well, that's okay. Perhaps we'll have just frightened you asking into that submission. Question, asking the question what Yakety Sack summons summons question three. No. True or false, Sarah Winchester constructed her mystery house in a labyrinthine manner to confuse spirits. Is that true or is that false? Seeing here are two ghosts dancing with each other and having a good old time. I like that it seems like they can make physical contact with each other. Yeah. Yeah. Only each other, though. Yeah. I guess, but it's a 50 50. Fluval likes to be Truxa. Uh, I don't understand the question, so it's obviously true. Now, this one is regional. <laughs> <laughs> Can't ghosts go through walls? Depends on the type, apparently. Oh, Hanako san. You're right. Hanako I could have said in the US. Oh, good point. Yeah. Like, it, it is very regional. Yeah. In that way, for but sure. But let's see. So Winchester sauce. <laughs> so the Winchester Mystery House is a giant mansion. The worst storage mystery house. With a labyrinth. I want to get mail from strangers. Like, sign well, up for our Patreon yeah, or up. send us that that uh, address when you win. Uh, some can. You'll get mail from strangers every week. <laughs> I'm hoping to win. So Winchester Mystery House is in San Jose, and it has stairways to nowhere, windows that are completely on the inside, small little steps that are too small to walk up, all sorts of things that people say are weird, but are they to confuse spirits? No. No! You'll hear that claim a lot, but it's actually false. Investigators... Investigators Whoa. like Joe Nickel and Mary Jo Ignafo have found that many of the strange occurrences actually have more mundane explanations. Fuck. The barred windows were previously exterior windows that were blocked off as house additions ah! grew. The doors and windows that opened to nothing were a result of an, after the, of a, of an earthquake retrofit. The small steps were built because of Winchester's declining health, and the trap doors were built in a greenhouse room where excess water could run and be piped to an outdoor <laughs> organ. Additionally, James Perkins, who was Winchester's carpenter, mm -hmm. said that the emphasis on 13 throughout the house yeah. and, quote, the more irregular features have, which have made the house a world-famed <laughs> oddity were built after Mrs. Winchester's death. She just had an interest <laughs> in architecture. Yeah, I don't know. That sounds like a bunch of yeah. made-up reasons when, like, by Occam's razors, it's a to confuse ghost. ghosts is a lot simpler. <laughs> <laughs> also, they say it's because she felt ads, guilt oops. about all the people killed with Winchester rifles. She didn't give a fuck. All about reporting that. is she didn't care. She didn't give a yeah, fuck. Yeah, no, that, there is that. no ev there is no contemporaneous evidence that she felt. <laughs> oh well. Blog Billionaires Tobin. have never felt Blog. bad. Now you know how I feel when I listen to New Jersey is the world. <laughs> <laughs> Zing, a great podcast Zing. though, but just I don't know about New Jersey. But I yeah, mean, she's I just do. an old lady I who do. wanted to be an architect and finally had a big old house that she could just like hire work people to like make things. To for clarify, her. that was me channeling Intern Forest. Obviously, I flu will know all about everything, but Intern mm -hmm. Forest doesn't know about New Jersey having never no. been there. Lowly third dimension. But you know where they have been? The leaderboard where Haunted House MD is in first place. <laughs> Boo Tatoes in second, Egg X Bacon third, Boo in fourth, and Ace in Deuce. In fifth place. That's true. H.H. H. Holmes is known to be the oh. first serial killer 
and he was adding into his house, which he used to torture people to death. Oh, was he the Chicago fair guy? Yeah, that's the devil in the white city. Yeah, that's so fucking creepy. Things from the like, Void says we can't convince him New Jersey is even real. Honestly, that kind of suffering is nowhere near as tasty as suffering that people experience when they are uh, they don't know something in a trivia game. It's true. And see other people around yeah, them. Yeah, way winning. more like, delicious. Way tastier. I don't know why people are doing all of that silly shit. And let's see. Let's actually make them okay. suffer right now with question number four. In the U.S., haunted house attractions were introduced in which decade? The 1920s, the 1930s, the 1940s, or the 2250s? <laughs> was this you? Was this you, yeah. Pooval, at the Yeah, I was pulling a Spock and just swimming where I wasn't supposed to. <laughs> you, you, wait, you don't think Triple H was a torture guy? <laughs> You don't think the game was a torture guy, but he Wait. did. He gave people the pedigree all the time. Who's Triple H? He's uh, the game. And he's going to play it. He's a professional wrestler. Okay, I was going to say, oh, like Triple X, but no. Uh, Triple H is, is a.k.a. <laughs> Paul Levesque is a professional wrestler, not H.H. Not H. Holmes. <laughs> Uh, just yeah. a little spoiler it's, for you about uh, Yeah, he was oh, Hunter so Hearst scary. Helmsley, which is very much... Mm. Yeah, it is a whole thing. He's a the whole game! Thing. Ha, suffer. You did. But let's see what everyone picked. Six of you said the Roaring Twenties. I know you mean the serial killer. Four of you said the 1930s. Two of you said the 40s. None of you thought the 2250s. The correct answer is the 1930s. The 30s! This was also the same period where trick-or-treating began to be popularized. Solidarity forever. As noted in Smithsonian Magazine, Halloween-themed haunted houses first emerged during the Great Depression as American parents schemed up ways to distract <laughs> young tricksters as holiday pranks had escalated into property damage, vandalism, I and harassment of bet. strangers. Ain't shit to do. And so, yeah, it was, well, you have nothing to do, so, hey, look at this. I just think it's interesting. I think it's, yeah, they needed to feed the waifs. Yeah, they needed to feed the waif suffering. Yes. Speaking yes. of waifs, intern Mike, show us the leaderboard. <laughs> where Haunted House MD is in first, a boo named Booty is in second, <laughs> Gulaloof in third, Boo Tatoes in fourth, and Egg X Bake in fifth place. It looks like not only four, not that, but mm -hmm. not, not every you know, Some people getting points on that one, but really. A lot of people did the correct thing of of abstaining. Abstaining. No, they just didn't lose points, but they okay. will now. Now, if you, from okay. now on, if you get it wrong, you will lose points. <gasps> Fluval, a trickster in our midst, tricksting off the game. Speaking of scary things. Christian hellhouses started trying to scare people to Jesus in which decade? The 1970s, the 1980s, the 1990s, or the 2000s. Seen here is a haunted house of indeterminate origin. Oh, and we can see like a little ghosty going by in the yeah, window. Yeah, you can see a g -g 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 ghost walking by the window. Speaking of scary things, your mom! <laughs> Old school. Flu ball. This is way scarier. Yeah, this is the scariest one. Yeah. Yeah. Has anyone here been to a Christian Hell House? I think I, I didn't know what they were until uh, King of the Hill. That well, was my first it. introduction. I'm going to show you such a scary house. Uh, Fluval was decanted. I was decanted from Grand Emperor Aquion. Yes. And it's an iteration thereof. You, I, I mean, no, none of the rest of these. How you never know what Fluval I'll say was this. on. I'll say this. There's one in a similar Ooh. topic area to the Pac-Man one coming Aha. up. So you might get that one. But we'll see what you get. Let's see what everyone answered. Two of you, Suffer. three of you said the 70s. Suffer. Seven said the 80s. Two said the 90s. None of them said the 2000s. The correct answer is the 1970s. Specifically, Ooh. the first known Hell House was the Scare Mare. The which, Scare Mare. The Scare Mare, which arose in Virginia in 1972. <laughs> The frights in these houses are usually sins, like gambling of extramarital sex and Whoa. more. Uh, the Simpsons did a similar thing with the crime museum where someone smoked weed and then tried to eat a baby. Ah. 
Yeah. Yeah. That's a yeah. pretty good one. I'm sorry yes. that we're extramarital yeah. sex rooms. Yeah, you yeah. saw couples living in sin without living the proper in paperwork. Sin. Oh, oh yeah, yeah it was cheese. a California cheeseburger, cheese. which was a baby between two slices of bread. That is accurate, Redactron. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> That's what they called it in that Simpsons episode. They're like, ah, oh, California cheeseburger. <sighs> oh my. Oh my. Oh my. As we go to the leaderboard, cool. where Boo is in first place. CBC just feels like death in second. A haunted house MD in third. A Boo named Matty. A Boo. In fourth. Gulaloof in fifth. Ambrosaurus in sixth. A Boo Tatoes in seventh. Egg X Bacon eighth. Uh, Ace and Deuce in ninth. Beethoven in tenth. Spooky Walk Run in eleventh. And Not Late from the Void in twelfth place. As we go to question number six. But before that. What? All right, we have your very special moment. My very special moment. That's right. Everyone who has received mail, pull it out. Many of you, hopefully most of you, received mail with tickets on it. That's why. That's right, tickets for a raffle of which you might win something. So this is what I'm gonna do. Okay. No, it is not so, actually a raffle. Note, so I have sent out many golden tickets and I'm going to continue to do so. And I'm also gonna leave them random places as well and have the Radio Free Multiverse info on that. And then every week I'm gonna pull five tickets oh, five. for potential winners. That's right, I will just see if people shut up. So I'm gonna keep sending more of these and I want you to give them to your friends. Is the prize garbage? It always says. It's always garbage here on it's Radio Free Multiverse. It's always garbage. So, our first ticket. Oh, I wonder who it I could be. And if I don't be. have, and if no one says that they're a winner, then I put it back in. Three, nine, six, six, zero, two. <laughs> Do we have a three, nine, six, six, it's three, zero, nine, two. six, six, zero, two here? Fufu, can we put that on a little banner? I can. Yes, I feel like a winner. Does that count? Only if you're suffering. You said 396602? 396602. Okay, so be sure. Well, and you're still drawing five tickets. You're I'm drawing not, five okay. tickets, and if the person, and if I don't find a winner by the end of the segment, then I put it back in, and hopefully they'll get it in the mail. Yes, and Ace and Deuce. Yes! I am constantly suffering. It's the human existence. Good! It's so true. You love to see it, you or I do at least. You love to see it. Now get ready to lose, because you probably don't have three, yes. nine, six, seven, zero, three. That's three, nine, six, seven, zero, three. Next ticket. It's three, nine, six. Seven zero two. That's wild. Those were right next to each other in the sheet, huh? They sure were. Seven zero Z three seven zero two. Ended up right there. I can't find the ticket, but now there is glitter everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> To being 42669. What are the odds? What are the odds? Never tell me the odds. 396675! 396675! I do not believe I have received said mail yet. We may not find any winners this round. It sure is looking that way. Which makes you're suffering. Ah, 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 so ah, delicious. Ah, ah, ah. You all think you might win. Or you might have been winners and you will not win. And mm, that's suffering. Three, nine, six, five, six, five. Three, nine, six, five, six, five. I have so many tickets. None of these. <laughs> 
Well, you'll have to join us again next Suffering. week. Suffering! I am going to be sending these out to all of you. They are going to be, some of them will be connected to cards. Some of them are just going to be like in little strips. Give them to your friends. Leave them on park benches. Go to places where people uh, would be interested in suffering for the amusement of Fluval and just leave them around and we'll see who wins! Yes, we'll see who draws the ticket. Are we going to send you a prize? Yes, but we are going to send it to the address on that blown up planet. Well, we'll send it back in time, too. No, I think we should send it at okay. the time at which the planet's already destroyed. Oh, you're destroyed, right. So yeah, yeah, yeah. Send it to the last ride field. Yeah, I like it. Yeah, yeah. Can I redeem them at my local arcade? You can try. You sure can try. But now you can try to answer <laughs> a question number six. Well, let's get more appropriate. New Orleans Haunted LaLaurie House was previously owned by which actor? Ooh. John Goodman, John Travolta, Matthew Modine, or Nicolas Cage? Ooh, a sticky hand or a spider ring? Oh, a sticky hand is great. Well, it's great for a little bit, and then it just gets hair on it, and it stops working at all. Those ones I find gross because you got spit on them. Oh, Lindsay Premel knows this uh -oh. answer. Lindsay Premel knows this. I, can I give a hint? I'll say Ace and Deuce also knows it and got it correct. Can I give a hint? Oh, suffering for all of you. Yeah. Flubble, let you all know that someone else got it correct. <laughs> ah! <laughs> should have played. Ha! You should have played. Hugh Laurie House. <laughs> well, let's see what you picked. <laughs> One of you said John Goodman, one of you said John Travolta, one of you said Matthew Modine, eight of you said Nick Cage, and the correct answer is Nicolas Cage. I'm not getting into how fucked the story is, but the house inspawned the hired ma the haunted mansion. Why? It, Why aren't a, you gonna get into the story, Flu? Because I don't have it in front of me. But oh. uh, the story, the house inspired the haunted mansion, and in fact, that's part of why Cage bought it. Yeah. As he told the New York Daily News, quote, you know, other people have, be I gotta channel him, wait. You know, other people have beachfront property. I have ghost front property. <laughs> That's what I always say. I have not experienced anything, but I like a bit of mystery and the house has such a mystery to it. Some of the stories about it are pretty horrific. Being channeled, yes. I'm a child of California and I'd go to Disneyland quite a bit. I consider myself something of a son of Walt and those memories had an impact on me. One of the greatest memories would be the Haunted Mansion in Anaheim, in New Orleans Square, no less. So for me to have the actual thing was just the childhood fantasy come true. Unfortunately, he lost the house to foreclosure in 2009. <laughs> Even ghosts yeah. can't keep He also has there. a pyramid tomb oh. in the New Orleans Cemetery number two. He does. And yes, we did Nick Cage trivia before, and that was when he learned that the reason he has the pyramid tomb is just so his family doesn't have to think about it. Whenever he goes. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's I know why about I didn't. These... Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's also just I, I just knew it was dark, house. so I don't have it here. Okay. Yeah, we're yeah, not. No, this is a bad house. This is yeah. a house where people were enslaved, and other people used that power to cause suffering that is not delicious to us, and we therefore abhor. Okay, well, that does need to be commented on. Did not realize it was that. Yeah. So no, that's thank why you for it's acknowledging really bad, it. It's like serial killers of people uh, who owned people. Okay, and well, uh, so it's really bad. That makes it weird that that inspired the Haunted Mansion then. It makes it real fucking weird. It also makes it real fucking weird that Nick would want it. But, you know, that's cool. Yeah, no, like real scary shit. Like, well, ooh. Hey, um, you know what's not weird? What? Leaving this moment and going to the leaderboard, <laughs> where Boo is in first, CBC just feels like death in second, <laughs> Gulaloof in third, Ace and Deuce in fourth, and oh boy, and Egg X Bake in fifth, <laughs> Boo Tatoes in sixth, Boo Toven in seventh, Spooky Walk Run in eighth, Haunted House MD in ninth, a Boo named Booty in tenth, <laughs> Ambersaurus and. Not late from the void. Not late Got it right. from the void. In 12th place. Well, uh, question seven. <laughs> True or false, in 1802, Madame Tussaud created a proto-haunted house featuring wax sculptures of decapitated French people based Ooh. on their real death masks. 
Oh my. Is that true or is that Wait, false? Wait, is that, would that then be the the start of Madame Tussauds? The like, the place that is in every tourist trap? Like on every boardwalk where it's I mean, the wax figures? If it's true, it certainly would imply that, yes. Wow. The namesake, at least. Yeah. Fascinating. Who here has been to a wax museum? I remember we went into the Hall of Murderers, and it scared me so bad I couldn't sleep for a couple days. Uh, that's a Netflix historical drama elevator pitch right there. Absolutely. Okay, so nine of you said true, one of you said false, and the correct answer is true. Yeah. So at Death Mask. She crafted Death Masks and full body casts yes. of multiple people executed by the revolution fresh out of the guillotine. Yeah. Including King Louis the Sixteenth, Marie Antoinette, Marat, and Robespierre, and you can still see these wax figures in the Chamber of Horrors at the London Madame Tussauds, because yes, Madame Tussauds, this person sculpted them, and she did it to get out of being executed herself. How horrifying! It's like yeah, we we, we don't think you'll cause enough trouble that you should be like also killed. But you have to stare at your dead friends all day. You have to sculpt them. You have to sculpt your dead ass friends. Oh my god. And Madame this Tussauds, would make a million dollars as like a show. Yeah, Madame you Tussauds know? Wax Museum has been in London since the 1830s oh, consistently. It can be like iZombie where it's sort of like a dead, like a procedural, like dead aristocrat of the week. And like, she's actually, like, oh, I liked that guy. Or like, oh, thank goodness he's dead. And like, you know, a little workplace drama, like the, rev you know. You yeah, know, it's been there since know. the 1830s. And then she sculpted Nicholas Cage. And it's on Baker Street. Pitch season's right around the corner. The WGA strikes over. The writers got, it, got their deal. The writers got their deal. Strike Captain Barbie prevailed. Pitch that show. I want to go to Madame I see. Okay, so to sew. They're not the original wax works of those figures in the museum. They're casts. Uh, they're made on, made on the casts that she originally made. Yeah. And the oldest figure on display in the London Madame Tussauds has been there since 1765. Oh, my God. Yeah. And now I think it's time we do a little journey into... My mind palace to take a look at what this ghastly museum has turned into in the modern age. Ooh. Where do we want to go? Fluval's Wax Museum. The it's San just Francisco House of Wax. one, the Hollywood one, the Vegas one. Let's look at Vegas. That's probably got the biggest collection. Now you can see The Rock. Hmm. Yeah. Who's that person? Is that. Like, is it just celebrities? Yeah. Now wow. it's mostly just celebrities. Like here's Jack Harlow. Huh. You can I mean, see the Steve Aoki. Ones are cool. you, you can see Steve Aoki who's going to the moon, by the way. Jack, Zach Gilipanakis? Is that Zach Gilipanakis? Yeah. What the fuck? You can find your wolf pack. From oh. the, you can join the wolf pack from the hangover at Madame Tussauds Las Vegas. Wow. Relive this instant classic film. You can get information with Beyonce. You can meet Snoop with some what? giant weed. Like, I don't know. The Hulk's cool. Marvel is here. Ah! Does the oldest wax sculpture, what does it look like? Can we look at the oldest one? Oh, let's see if it's on here. Oh, no, it's just Beyonce again. <laughs> and Spider-Man again. And Harry Styles. Okay, the Chamber ah! of Horrors. Wow. Now it's actual just like other serial killers and like yeah how wait a sec loose skin part how do they do with jack the ripper uh do we, we don't know who he question. was uh probably just some guy <laughs> yeah this is steve he modeled to be jack the ripper yeah, this is steve we just put a hood on him has anyone seen that twilight zone episode about the guy who was really obsessed with the serial killers at the wax museum he worked at 
And then eventually, and then they started talking to him. And then he killed his wife and then they killed him. And then the like police were there and they're like, that's so weird how he killed his wife and then killed himself. But it doesn't look like he killed himself, but no one else could have done it. Okay, here's and the that. wax figures are just there. It's really spooky. This is that oh, oldest figure. She's so pretty. Yeah, this was Madame du Barry. Oh. Well, this actually wasn't by Madame Tussaud either. This was by her men. Yeah. Tor Curtis. No, it was just someone inherited it. Hmm. Oh, yeah, no, it was her. She I'm inherited it so after so her. Okay, so her mother worked for a physician who did a lot of wax modeling and was her mentor and taught her how to do it. Um, can we look at that prank playground at the Dubai location? <laughs> can we can we see what the fuck that is? That's right, wax sculptures of the impractical jokers. Really? No, probably not. Okay, but I really want to know what no, that means. We're looking at the prank playground. Yeah, gotta look at the pl prank playground. Kind of creepy. Oh, spooky. I bet I, I see what it is. I see what, what it is. is. It? Okay. The prank playground is now open. Convince your friends that you are a Madame Tussauds celebrity by posing in one of our in our prank outfits and props and share the fun on social media. How is this a Can prank? Can you stand still as a beef eater guard next to the queen? Hello, guys. We're in Madame Tussauds in Dubai. We're doing a prank on my friend. Ooh. A couple of So you stand super still, and your friends assume you're a wax figure, when all of a sudden you move. Oh! Okay, yeah. that's how it's a prank. Okay. Okay. Everything makes sense now, except it. I feel like you wouldn't, that wouldn't have it. Like, if you know you're I walking like into the wouldn't. prank dungeon. Also, uh, uh, not only, well, no, you don't. I don't think you know, because it's just it's just an experience you can book. So you would just tell your friend, hey, oh, I bought tickets to Madame Tussauds. Oh, right. Is it not? The Sydney Australia code? one also has it. Right. So it seems like a like, bit of a feature as they try to get people to go again. Also, like. It's they, their friend, too, so, like, they'd be more likely to recognize their face. It's not just, like, some rando. Yeah, I mean, that would be better if you could just hire a rando to, to scare them. So you're, like, Which going. just adds a whole other layer of, yeah. like, what the fuck is going on? Oh, yeah, no, I mean, it absolutely does. Which is also what I feel when I look yeah. at the leaderboard. Where <laughs> Boo is in first, Goolaloof in Boo. second, uh, Boo Tato's in third, CBC just feels like death in fourth, <laughs> and Boo Toven in fifth. And a new challenger has appeared with <gasps> Bootleg Bart. Bootleg Bart! In 13th place. Shoot him! He's the wax figure! Bang. He is! Okay. You notice how the wax figure, like, this is the wax figure and this is the real person? I did. I'm very funny. No, I know that whole bit. That's a good bit. Thank you. Thank you, Bluefall. But we should also keep on moving through our game of trivia to the scariest question of all. Question eight. Ooh. Boo first appeared in which Mario game? Ah. Super Mario Bros, Super Mario Bros 3, Super Mario World, or Super Mario World, or Super Mario 64? Super, ooh, okay. See, so in here is Boo. I played Super Mario World. I played all of them. <laughs> Boo. <laughs> Fluval has had a gun this whole time. Flubble's and then I just started American. blasting. <laughs> Mario is missing. Yes, that's right. In Mar uh, Boo actually first appeared in Mario Teaches Typing. You're all wrong. <laughs> we didn't give you the right answer as an option. <laughs> I mean, it does sound like something Flubble We have done do. that. We have, yeah. <laughs> we did it after a night where every question was all the answers are correct, except the last one. <laughs> It took me too long to yeah. remember where I heard about it. That's a great one. But the Lamar Woods episode of the podcast, The Ride. A podcast, oh, The Ride. Oh yeah, that is a really good. Because he used to work at pod. Uh, he used to work at Madame Tussauds. Mm -hmm. Tussauds. Tussauds. Well, let's see what Tussauds. you got. Tussauds. None of you thought Tussauds. it was the original Super Mario Bros. Eight of you said Super Mario Brothers three. Two of you said World. One said sixty four. The correct answer is Super Mario Brothers three. Though so technically in that game they were known as Boo Diddleys. <laughs> 
as a <laughs> reference to the singer Bo Diddley. Oh. But they would drop Diddley in future appearances. Carpetless is now possible? You're going to have to explain what that means, Blog. Yeah, what do you mean by carpetless? I think I know what you mean. Do you mean beating it without touching the carpet in Peach's castle? <laughs> Classic Bo Diddley. <laughs> Who the fuck is Bo Diddley? That must be what carpetless means, is you just don't touch the carpet in the... In the... In the... Uh, Crow <laughs> Diddley. There are so many crows in the Bay Area of California of your Earth dimension right now. Yeah, we observe right that now. from outer space and outside from, of time. Yeah, because we because Fluval knows all. So Fluval let yeah. me know that it is a fucking crow apocalypse. Yeah, this is Bo Diddley. He's Matches an American guitarist. The ah! he, he influenced <laughs> Buddy Holly, Elvis Presley, The Beatles, The Rolling yes. Stones, The Animals, George Thorogood, Sid Barrett, and The Clash. So he's just an iconic musician. I'll see you in the computer. Okay, they're just a musician. An iconic Heating it without touching the carpet. Musician. Oh, yeah. Um, yeah, what about Boo, La Boo Radley? They didn't call them that. What do you mean, what about? They just didn't, they didn't call them that. But what about Boo Radley? I mean, they could have called them that. <laughs> okay, here's... Okay, here's carpet. Oh, okay. Here's a carpetless video that blog sent in. Is this is this Fold is this okay video. for the channel? Fluval? Oh. <laughs> Will this get us in trouble with Twitch because of obscenity? What about Boo Radley? I, mean, I, am, I am cold playing this, so we'll see. <laughs> there are a lot of crows. A lot of fucking crows. What makes this carpet? Oh. I don't. I don't. I don't know, know what makes this carpetless. This is... There's never a carpet here. Yeah. Oh, it's we're, a, we're normal run, but Mario is shaved. I see. <laughs> oh, wait. How Can we see that he's shaved? Oh, my God. No, yeah, he has his mustache. Did you see any carpet? I don't see any fucking carpet. No, there is no carpet. That's true. What's a grackle? Oh, wait. He doesn't have his... Oh, my fucking God, dude. Oh yeah. my god! Oh, oh. There. oh! I see, because you usually need a carpet okay. to get there. Yeah, yeah. Okay. A grackle's a bird, that's true. A grackle is a bird. Yeah, what it's... makes it spookier than a crow? A magic Grackles are annoying there. crows. What and makes they dive them annoying? Bomb people. Okay. They are known to dive. A lot of people deserve to be dive bombed. <sighs> uh, it's not his face that's shaved. <laughs> oh, it's his butt. Ah, uh, the magic carpet. I see, I see, I see. Oh, that one. I see, I see, I see. Yeah, 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 yeah. That makes total sense. Mm -hmm. It's a mo He rides on a magic carpet. Yeah, 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 yeah and the yeah. magic carpet flies. On a magic carpet ride. You don't know. Mario's freak. I wants see. wants to take you on his magic carpet ride. I didn't judge the grackle. They just want French fries like all of us. Well, yes. why don't we fly on a ride to the leaderboard Whoa. where Boo is in first, Ghoul Loop in second, <laughs> Beethoven in third, CBC just feels like death in fourth because they were dive bombed. <laughs> I just love how much that says about your experience. Some of us did not deserve to be dive bombed. Seagulls are sky rats around here, but like rats, I like rats. Unless they drop clams on my car. Oh, that seems really obnoxious. That seems obnoxious. I've seen seagulls do that, but not on a fucking car. That's hilarious. Intern Forest got pooped on by a seagull. I am still traumatized by the grackles. Intern Forest. Oh, I see grackles. Intern Forest is watching the Chris Gethard show on his phone, and then a seagull okay. pooped on him. Grackles are like a little smaller. And they look meaner. Well, I gotta pull up a grackle then. Yeah, you gotta pull up a grackle, you gotta pull up a crow. They look, uh, well, they're I a think, little smaller. I think we all know what crows look like. They got shimmery around their neck, kinda, but they're black. Um, did Intern Forest feel luckier that day? No, oh. he got pooped on. Generally be meaner, but crows will be mean forever, yes. But you kinda have to fuck up, like, a crow. I like this word, grackle. Me too. That is sort of why I've been really on the grackle train, because I like saying the word grackle. Seagulls do not. 
appreciate niche comedy. They are too interested in self-actualization and finding perfect speed. Which is much faster than you'd think. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yeah, oh, Crow will hate you specifically. Grackles just hate everyone. He's quite handsome, and I do love the colors. Oh, yeah, they can now do a Grackless run. Grackless! <laughs> Grack. Grack. Grackle. Uh, yeah, it looks like an oil leak. It does. I grok this grackle. <laughs> well, let's see if you grok question number nine. A full-sized crow dive? What did you do to the crow, We have a question. CBC? Which of these is not a real ghost-type Pokemon? Pumpkaboo, Scaramoo, Sinistee, or Spiritome? I don't usually like to victim blame, but what did you do to this crow? Three of these are real ghost type Pokemon. One of them isn't. Pumpkaboo, Scaramoo, Sinistee, or Spiritome? Uh, chicken, yeah, on it's a different true. earth. <laughs> on a different earth, chicken soup for the soul owns Grackle. <laughs> and Joe Dirt, was, Joe Dirt 2 was a Grackle exclusive. Only 151 exists for me. Yeah. You gotta live in the now, man. There's more than 151. Yeah, yeah. Grackle. Uh, we don't talk about <laughs> Joder too. Mm. A short inspirational Grackle story. A Grackle was the streaming home of Seinfeld for a while too, <laughs> which was weird. <laughs> it, you know, like we had to, you had to catch it like under its wings, so only as yeah. it flew could you really like see it. But you know. They got exclusive uh, rights for a bit. Yeah, it was a bird Gengar about nothing. Or bust. Scaramoo, Scaranoo sounds like a nickname for Anthony Scaramoo. Oh, I haven't thought about Scaramucci in a while. Uh, the train for a show that is only on a Showtime package of Paramount Plus. Wow. What was the show? You can't have Showtime through cable. Grackle, G R A K L E. Only add on crow friendly. Was it a Yellowstone no, spin off? Oh, I it like my jacket. CBC, what were you wearing? <laughs> or it was sent by the self proclaimed witch my boyfriend was cheating on me with. Well, hopefully not that. Hopefully it was just an extremely judgy bird. <laughs> Just, oh, yeah. Just like, I hate your fucking jacket. I've heard of The Shy. Yeah, it's about you. Chicago, and it's in its sixth season. <gasps> Scaramoo, scar... Oh! Scaramoo, Scaramoo, would you do the Fandango? Thunderbolts and lightning, oh. very, very frightening me. About Chicago? Yeah. And Lena Waite from uh, Master of None made it. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's cool. Okay. Talking Sinisty with Books and the Gang. Books. Let's see what you picked. <laughs> Two or three of you said Pumpkaboo. 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 Scaramoo sounds Four like Four of you said Scaramoo. Cow. It also sounds like it's part of Bohemian Rhapsody. Scaramoo, 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 Scaramoo can you do the Fandango? fandango. But, um... <laughs> Oh, yeah, and Star Trek Prodigy got saved by Netflix after being canceled by Paramount+. Plus. Yeah. But let's see what... So you saw what you picked. The correct answer is, of course, Scaramoo. Scaramoo! The rest are all real. So you got to show these to us. Oh, Scaramoo's not real? Yeah. Oh, I was excited to see the ghost cow. Well, this is Pumpkaboo. <laughs> I like that it's a bat pumpkin. What the fuck? It's Pumpkaboo so is a ghost and grass-type Pokemon introduced in Pumpkaboo. Gen 6. It evolves into Gorgeist. Gorgeist? Oh! Oh! I wanna be I wanna be in a metal band and I yeah. want my metal band name to be Gorgeist. When traded, it becomes Gorgeist. Gorgeist! Oh, Southside's so fucking good. Here's a small size pumpkaboo. Uh, intern <laughs> Intern Custy. I'm intern custody, thank you so much. Scaramoo! Sounds way more real, but Gorgeist is my favorite. Yeah, which one is the eyes? Is the pumpkin the eyes or is the bat the eyes? Or do they both see and have their own mind, but they're connected like some sort of horrible... See, because uh, with Gorgeist, it's also just centipede. as ambiguous. I think the top. I think the head is the top. Gorgug! I think those are little buttons on his pants like Mickey. Gorgug, Gorgeist! 
But that shouldn't be confused Gordeist. with Sinisty. I'm a, named the band Gordgeist for legal reasons. Oh, that's, ah. that's a good call. Here's Sinisty. Gordgeist. Which is, in, is oh. it evolves into Poltygeist. Okay, that's pretty good. When exposed to a cracked cup or, cra or to a cracked or chipped pot. And this is a, just a ghost type Pokemon. And I the, love cartoons. I love live action cartoons. The, the phony so this form. This was so happy. The phony Sorry. form of this doesn't have a stamp of authenticity, and the antique form does. <laughs> and that's different Sinistry. than that's different than Sinischa, which is a different <laughs> cup inspired ghost type Pokemon. Yeah, why is there a T type Pokemon? No, it's a ghost type. It's a T inspired ghost type Pokemon. There's so there's yeah. multiple T Pokemon. <laughs> mm. Oh, there's a little dude inside. Who controls it, the cup or the dude? I think they're they're the same thing. They're all one. And again, there's the counterfeit form versus the artisan form. Ooh. And this one evolves from Polchegeist. Oh, Polchegeist. Which looks like a bit like a bottle for tea. Okay. And then you evolve it into a teacup. Huh. Right? Well, what about Spiritome? <laughs> That's true. Gen 1 did have a guy that was magnets. <laughs> yeah, it also had a mime. Two haunted teacups? And then this Two? is... This is Spiritome. Well, thankfully, these are all 100% real animals. They live in your world. You just can't see them. Age-old philosophy question. Who controls it? The cup or the dude? Spiritome doesn't the evolve. The cup or the dude? Spiritome doesn't evolve into anything because it's already perfect. Like T as in testosterone or T? That's a good question. We need some trans rights Pokemon. Someone's got a fucking, you I know. Mean, well, okay. Be, be out there for for the trans there, I, friends. There is. We need some trans Pokemon. I and mean, they're kind of. And they one. fight. Do they fight? No. Do they it, fight the Turfimon? I mean, probably. Which is actually just England. <laughs> it's just real people. Like they're too busy hiding. I mean, <laughs> too busy asking if they could and not if they should. Oh, she's so cute. This they're is so Sylveon. Cute. This yes. is one of Eevee's final forms. This yeah, is the fairy not. form of Eevee's evolution. Be very careful with the tea. It is expensive and unfortunately hard to get. Uh, Jinx is a trans icon. Love that. I mean, this one has the color scheme and everything. So. I mean, I do love that. I love that it has the cute little color scheme. That's all I got to say about that. But that's not <laughs> all I have to say about our leaderboard, where Boo is in first, a Boo named Booty in second, Potatoes in third, Goolaloof in fourth, Egg X Bank in fifth place. But there's still one more question to go, so why don't we get to it now? Wager your points if you Wager! have them. This one, as, as background, is about an actual alleged ghost. Okay. So let that influence your wager, if it will. Yeah. I love, a, I love an actual alleged ghost. Things from the Void, all in. All Whom named Maddie in. thinks it's going to be about Casper, Casper, the ghost of Richie Rich. <laughs> Blogtoven bets there's a secret bonus queue. Uh, Who else developed a crush on Casper during the Casper movie when they watched it as a young person? But then when they saw Casper in human form, were like, oh, I like... I'm not as into it. <laughs> you mean the ghostly trio things from the void? The ghostly trio. Casper's uncles? He was a child, <laughs> I know. Here's your question. Winston Churchill, Teddy Roosevelt, yes! Grace Coolidge, and more claim to see who's a ghost haunting the White House. Abraham Lincoln, Benedict Arnold, George Washington, or King George III. Whose ghost did oh. these illuminaries, question mark, claim to see haunting the White House? Luminaries. Like, like the word luminary. <laughs> just so like people whose thoughts are well thought of in society. Yeah. Luminaries. A luminaries question mark. Mm, don't fail me, Venture Bro. You mean fat so stretch and stinky? Fat so stretch. 
fresh and stinky. God damn. <laughs> Uh, Biden is a ghost type Pokemon. <laughs> uh, all of the fucking Senate is. Bye bye points. Looks like Biden <laughs> is evolving. <laughs> do, 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 do. Oh, he no. evolved into Malarkey. <laughs> Marky, Malarkey. Malarkey, Jack. Malarkey, Malarkey, Jack. Malarkey, no, it would be he Malarkey. evolved into Jack. <laughs> Jack, Jack. Jack, oh, Jack. except in our canon, it's Stinky Fatso and Stretch because it's funnier to end on Stretch. It is. It is funnier to end on Stretch. Boudin. <laughs> well, let's see what you picked. Three of you said Honest Abe. Two of you said Benedict Arnold. Five said George Washington. None of you thought it was King George, which understandable. Who is it? It's Lincoln. It's Lincoln! <laughs> You're right. He evolves into Dark Brandon. What am I doing? <laughs> Of course that's the bit. You're a run program dog-faced pony soldier. <laughs> yeah, of course he evolves into Brandon. Dog oh, and Venture Brothers for the win says Blogtove, and the correct answer is Abe yes! Lincoln. Yes! Honest Abe is said to lurk in the yellow oval room and the Lincoln bedroom. Yes. And in addition to the humans mentioned in the question, the Reagan's dog Rex is also rumored to have seen Lincoln's ghost. Wait, what? <laughs> Yeah. How is the dog rumored to have seen the ghost? <laughs> who, was, who did the dog tell this to? <laughs> he started barking at the doorway of the Lincoln bedroom. And so they're like, that must mean ghosts? Yeah. Okay. I mean, Mary Todd Lincoln did seances in the White House and said she communed <laughs> with Andrew Jackson's ghost. In an interview, the dog admitted to seeing spirits. <laughs> Please make the Biden stop. So, yeah, so apparently, according to ourwhitehouse.org, apparently the Reagan's dog, a spaniel named Rex, also sensed Lincoln's ghost barking frantically near the wait, door to the bedroom. Wait, 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 back up. But this isn't Lincoln's dog. No, this is Reagan's dog. <laughs> the QR code just goes to the trivia game. Um... Yeah, he barked at the door and never set the foot inside. And then he even barked at the ceiling as so the Reagans it must watched TV. Be Lincoln's ghost? Yeah. yeah. But it could have been anyone. Yeah. What made them think it was Lincoln specifically? Because Reagan also wanted yeah, the because in the eighties. <laughs> we don't know <laughs> Because Maureen Reagan also had seen him. Okay. Well, waking up one morning in the okay. Lincoln bedroom, in the words of her father, Ronald Reagan, <laughs> to a figure standing at the window looking out. She could see the trees right through it. Again, it turned and disappeared. If ghosts were a thing, Diane Feinstein would be serving right now. She's, she's not. I know. If ghosts were a thing, they would make her ghost oh, okay. continue to uh, be in Congress. Uh, right? Jimmy Carter's ha, daughter uh -huh. tried to summon okay. Lincoln's ghost. Oh. Yeah, you have nothing else. So yeah, it says, <laughs> here's another thing. Amy Carter, President Carter's daughter, did not witness Linda Maureen or Rex's fun. Because Linda Reagan also saw it. Or Linda, someone else named Linda saw it. Oh. One Halloween, wishing to call upon Lincoln's ghost. You know, I should just share this whole thing. Let's yeah, just look yeah. at this whole Let's page. Let's just look at this thing. Let's just like talk about Abraham Lincoln. Let's talk about Lincoln's g -g 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 ghost. G -g 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 -ghost. Our White House, looking in, looking out. The National, this is by the National Children's Book and Literacy Alliance, and this okay. is written by Renee Critcher Lyons. <laughs> and Frankenstein. In the White House, Margaret Truman <laughs> constantly heard floors popping, doors knocking, and drapes sliding back and forth. Her father, President Harry Truman, described the mansion as haunted. Sure is shooting. Margaret decided to get to the bottom of the bazaar wrap tap tappings and one night <laughs> on a tear. Sorry, I was reading <laughs> who named oh, the yeah. comment and I got to the last part. Uh, I mean, that, that tends to happen when your plan is destroyed. <laughs> President Truman son. must have known of her his daughter's ghostly quest for the only ghost to appear that particular night was the White House butler donning a top hat a prank played by a lighthearted father. But Margaret's ghost persisted, prank or no prank, prompting her father to order renovations. 
Margaret and her father are not alone when it comes to hearing spooky noises in the White House. Jenna Bush of the Today Show and daughter of President George W. Bush awoke to music from the 1920s, describing, I was asleep, there was a fireplace in my room, and all of a sudden I heard 1920s music coming out. I could feel it. I freaked out and ran to my sister's room. Jenna's sister, Barbara, believed the story to be malarkey. Malarkey! Real rubbish. But when Jenna dared Barbara to sleep in her room the following yep. night, both heard an ear-splitting <laughs> opera blaring from the exact same fireplace. No warm, cozy sleep for either that night. At first light, White House workers spilled the beans to the shivering, shaken sisters, stating, Oh, we hear it all the time. It's 1920s music because yeah. it's public domain. Other ghostly noises linger along the gates and upon the doors of the White House's north portico. Legend says the banging is the ghost of Anna Surratt, rattling the doors and gates, pleading for her mother's life. Oh, that's gross. Oh, she was a conspirator on Lincoln. Oh, okay. So it's uh, the, yeah, this is the day. I got ghastly episode tonight. Oh, my. Um, and they uh, killed her mom? Because she conspir- aspired for the murder of Lincoln. So they killed her mom? No, no, no. Her mom conspired. Oh, okay. And the yeah. daughter, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, and then her ghost paces back and forth, awaiting for President Andrew Johnson to arrive after the Lincoln Association. Lincoln Association. What you know what I mean? He got associated with. Them. Got associated, you know? You know? Yeah, yeah. he associated with uh, the guy, Susan Ford, <laughs> daughter of President Gerald Ford, ran smack dab into the specter of Civil War President Abraham Lincoln alongside the fireplace in the Lincoln bedroom. Scared to return to the room, Susan never entered again until on a dare she and a friend decided to sleep on the self-same bedroom. On her father's last night as president, the girls hoped to see Lincoln putting on his boots, just as one of FDR's clerks had seen. The risk paid off, but in an unexpected way. Susan awoke to see her mother, Elizabeth, dressed in a sea- I want to cast magic missile. Reciting the Gettysburg Address. So her mom dressed as a goat and recited- ghost. And recited- It sounds like- yeah. This family was really mean to each other. It does. We were like, yeah, mom, we're a little too old for that, Susan joked. And then that's where we would go to Reagan and the dog. Sus- Linda Johnson Robb, daughter to President Johnson, met and maybe even spoke to the spirit of a fellow child Ooh. of the White House, Willie Lincoln. Willie, who, too. Who was Abraham Lincoln's son who died from a fever at the age of 12. And in oh. fact, Willie's ghost visited Linda in the very same room in which he passed on. Ah. Jesus Christ. I mean, he's not in that house. Willie's spirit, like that of his father. Oh, with all these good, good, good ghosts. Good, Willie's good spirit, ghosts. like that of his father, seems to flit and fly all around the house, dropping in on several White House staff members over the years, including the maid during the presidency of Ulysses S. Grant. Hmm. I mean, I wish it was the one. I wish it was the son played by Joseph Gordon Levitt. Yeah. Who appeared. Sasha and Malia Obama. Oh, wait, no. Yeah, and then Amy Carter. Did not okay, witness. I would believe Sasha and Leanne of Obama yeah. over most Amy of Carter his people. did not witness Linda Marina Rex's fun one Halloween, wishing to call upon Lincoln's ghost. Amy and her friend Claudia Sanchez dared to spend a night in the Lincoln bedroom, consulting a Ouija board before falling to sleep. As Amy's mother Rosalind joked, of course they heard the ghost. For mother and maid, Amy's nurse Mary Fitzpatrick pulled a hair-raising hoax and covered with sheets, burst into the room with the young to the young girl's screams. Oh my. Wow. Sasha and Malia Obama used the White House ghosts for some fun with friends as well. During a slumber party as they ate late night snacks, chocolate covered pretzels and flavor blasted goldfish. What a snapshot of an era. Malia wow. started telling her friends about the spooky presidents of the past now roaming the halls as ghosts. As the girls grew quieter and quieter, they heard a whisper, the ghost of George Washington. He told Malia how great a job her father was doing in office and how proud <laughs> she should be of him just like the Ghostbusters, and not afraid no ghost. Sasha crept to the kitchen wow. from where the whispers seemed to be coming. Crash! Clang! Kaboom! All the pots fell. As she turned on the lights, Sasha discovered the source of both the clanging and the whispering. There was her dad, Barack <laughs> Obama, or should we say the new George? The new George? <laughs> what does that mean? <laughs> just like Sasha, Malia, and their friends, most kids in the U.S. search far and wide for spine-tingling ghost stories. Yeah, right, right. Uh, yeah, you know, your, your father's doing a good job. Classic uh, Obama goof. Classic. Uh, look, Malia, your father's doing a good job. I, I cannot tell a lie. <laughs> Where's New George? And also, also, as a sidebar, 
Feels like it's a pretty obvious if it's but it's Obama. Yeah. <laughs> His voice pretty distinctive. <laughs> I think I don't think you're like, oh, who is that? Who that, could that be? That universal cadence that everyone has. <laughs> Oh man! But that's our last question. <gasps> so, so let's see, see who, who our winner is. Won. Shriek and fight, fright. As Beethoven took third place. <laughs> In second, it's none other. That CBC just CBC. feels like death. Feels and like our death. winner is none other than Boo. <laughs> your address so we can send you some trash. And if you want to get some raffle tickets, send us your address. But also support us at patreon.com slash radio free multiverse to get trash every single month. Redactron! Congratulations, Redactron! So you'll get a prize in the mail, but there's one prize everyone will get, which is none other than Yeah, that one was made up by our writer. Thank you, Jonathan Frakes. And you're going to want to be sure to join us again next week for another exciting episode of Grand Trivia where we'll have even more spooky trivia next week. We'll see you then. (laughs) And remember, if you want to get some mail with us, join our Patreon or, I don't know, just message me in a draft. Yes, either one. But join our Patreon because we'll see you next week. We have your coordinates. Or should I say, coordinates? Here he comes Swimming Closer than farther away Oh, <laughs> oh,